and welcome back to my channel. For all things mommy, wife, and life, my name is Chessa. Are you someone that likes to save time and money in the kitchen? Me too. We're a small world. You've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some kitchen life hacks. I'm going to be showing you how to make your produce last longer and how to save time and money in the kitchen. So let's get into this. I've been doing this hack for years. I always like to buy that big $5 tub of spinach so that I can use it in salads and smoothies when I'm trying to eat on the healthier side. But I also kind of hate buying it because I always feel like a lot of it goes to waste. So I came up with a solution to help save a lot of the spinach so that way it doesn't go bad as quickly. All you need are some paper towels. And if you buy the bags of spinach instead of the containers, just grab a Tupperware container because that works too. Open up the whole container and take out half or all of the spinach and transfer it into another dry container. Once half is added, put another paper towel down in the middle, put the rest of the spinach back into the container and put more paper towels on top. This is going to be how you store this in the refrigerator. When condensation starts collecting, just wipe down with another paper towel. This makes my spinach last so much longer. I've probably saved myself at least a hundred bucks using this trick over the years. Definitely give this one a shot. Number two saves me from having to clean out my fridge constantly. All I just do is put some cling wrap or some foil down at the bottom of my fridge and that way if any spills happen, it's super easy for cleanup. Just take it out and apply a new one. If you want a way to keep your avocados fresher a little bit longer, use this tip. After you use half, save the other half of the avocado shell and also save the pit if you're only going to use half at one time. Put it back together and then cover it with foil or saran wrap. If you want to go the extra mile, rub the other side with some lime juice or lemon juice to help it from turning brown. So here's a space saving hack. Does this ever happen to you? Here is a little organization and space saving hack in your kitchen. All of these bags I've collected off the grocery store over the years, I try to save them so I can reuse them but they end up just kind of being a big cluttered mess in my kitchen. So a way that I've come up to kind of organize them and keep them out of the way is to fold them up and put them inside another bag and store them that way. This saves so much space and it's so much more organized. It doesn't make me have anxiety every time I open up that closet. So this one I read and I haven't actually tried, but I've had it on my list to try for such a long time. So I thought I'd try it out today. Basically, if you want some chips, but you don't want to dirty a bowl, you're supposed to take the bag and then cut a little piece in the middle and then swirl it out so that way you can make an instant chip bowl. So let's go ahead and try this out and see if it works. So I found it a little difficult to swirl out the chips, but it ends up working. I don't know why you couldn't just like cut around the edges instead, but I mean, either way, I didn't have to wash a bowl, so I think this one's a win. So here's another one I wanted to try out just to see if this one was gonna work or not. They say if you take your kitchen scissors and then cut foil, it's supposed to sharpen them. So I wanted to test this one out and see if it works. I was really skeptical about this one going in and I have to say I'm still kind of skeptical to see if it even works. I cut a piece of paper before I tried to sharpen them and then I, I cut the same piece of paper after I sharpened them and I honestly didn't see that much of a difference so I'm still up in the air to see if this one works. I'll keep trying it over time and see if it makes any difference but it just kind of seems like it would dull in the blade. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I didn't think it did anything but I'll let you be the judge of that. Let me know if you've tried this one out and if it's worked for you. So here's one I found that really does work. If you love buying natural peanut butter or almond butter, but you hate having to keep stirring it because all the oil rises to the top, a tip for this is to store your toilet, toilet paper. Oh my God, <laughs> did I say toilet paper? A way you can avoid all of the oil to build up on top is to store your peanut butter upside down and put it in the cupboard. Then when you take it out, flip it over and no oil will be at the top. It'll all be mixed. So the first time I tried this out, it took forever for the oil to actually go to the top, but it eventually did work. It just took a really, really long time. So my suggestion is if you want to use it a little bit sooner is to mix it up once and then store it upside down after that. And when you're ready to use it, just open it up and voila, no oil. That's right. I just spoke French. Always put like a little paper towel down if it's um, a metal top container, because I find that it does leak a little bit. So word of the wise. 
If you forget about your celery in the fridge and come back to bendy celery, here's how you can make it come back to life. Chop it up into a few pieces, wash it, and put it into a container filled with water. The celery is gonna absorb the water and then make it crunchy again. I just saved you three bucks. You're welcome. So here's a way to make your bananas last a little bit longer. All you have to do is take apart all of your bananas, cover the top with a piece of foil, and they actually last a few days longer. Definitely try this one. So another one that I have trouble keeping fresh for very long are berries. I love having berry, fresh berries around. I love adding them to my smoothies. They just go bad so quickly. So here's a way I found that actually elongates the life of your berries a little bit. Take apple cider vinegar. You're gonna want the one that has the mother in it. Put a couple tablespoons, I just kind of eyeball it, and put it into a bowl. I like to wash my berries first, and then I like to wash them in this mixture. Make sure you dry off the berries really, really well. I just kind of lay out a couple of paper towels and then dry them off. And then I also store my berries in back in the container it came in, but with some more paper towels, and it makes your berries last a little bit longer. After you do this, they will smell a little bit like vinegar, but just give them a quick rinse before you eat them and you're fine. So quick tip, have you ever wondered why your fridge has like these humidity settings on it? For the longest time, I never really knew which one was which, The time has come, I needed to look this up and figure out what they were. So you actually wanna store your fruits and vegetables at different humidities. I had no idea that this was a thing. You wanna store your fruits at a lower humidity and you wanna store your vegetables at a higher humidity. So just think, if you're, whenever you're in the grocery store and you're in the produce section and you walk by the vegetables and you hear that thunder and lightning and then all of a sudden it starts like spraying out of nowhere. I was just kind of thinking about it and they're keeping their fruits and vegetables at high humidity. Like they're spraying it with water. But if you think about the fruits, they're not being sprayed with water, are they? Was your mind just blown? <sighs> if so, like this video and leave me a comment down below letting me know which one you wanna try out. And also let me know if you have any kitchen hacks of your own. I'm always trying to find new kitchen hacks to use, so help a girl out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next Sunday at 7 p.m. Bye.